comfortably, but the kids were so excited that they perched themselves at the rear end. The captain made sure they were safe. The yacht sped across the sea, cutting the waves as it headed towards the Water Kingdom. The spray of water on their faces made the journey even more exciting. Water Kingdom was a fascinating place. Shaped like a castle on the beach, it had water skiing, wind surfing, canoeing and kayaking, apart from the rides and slides. The kids and their parents spent some time exploring the place till they finally decided on the rides and sports they wanted to take. Mom was a little scared seeing Chinu come down the water slide but Dad told her to be brave. When she saw how well Chinu handled herself, she just smiled and worried no more. Tom and Sarah played along, sometimes on the slides and sometimes in the splash pool. Soon their tummies growled. They washed their hands and tucked into the delicious fare laid out for them. Why don't we build a sand cast? Mom was a little scared seeing Chinu come down the water slide but Dad told her to be brave. When she saw how well Chinu handled herself, she just smiled and worried no more. Tom and Sarah played along, sometimes on the slides and sometimes in the splash pool. Why don't we build a sand castle, said Chinu once lunch was over. Good idea, Sarah replied. As they moved towards the beach, they met a couple of boys, Glenn and Verone, who had buckets, spades, shovels, rakes and molds. Will you play with us? asked the boys when they saw the three children. That's what the three were waiting for, and they happily set out to play in the sand. Mom and Dad settled into the hammocks while they kept an eye on the kids. Soon they had dug out a high pile of sand. The castle had started to take shape with the pieces coming from the molds. It resembles the Water Kingdom, said Chinu, to which Tom nodded, but Sarah looked a little skeptical. Maybe if we build another dome, it will. She exclaimed. Glenn and Verone were building the walls. Everyone was doing their bit to make the castle look beautiful. Suddenly Chinu's shovel hit something hard. She had been digging out a lot of sand and had gone quite deep doing so. Hey, there's something down here. Come and take a look guys, she called to her friends. They all gathered around her and started to remove the rest of the sand around the object, which now became more visible. Excitement peaked. What could this be? They had no clue. When the sand around it was completely removed, Chinu dislodged the box and pulled it out. Everyone gathered around to see what was in it and as Chinu opened the box, their mouths gaped open. Look at those gold coins, exclaimed Sarah, picking up a handful. Glenn and Verone wanted to put some in their pockets too. But Chinu stopped them. I think we must tell our parents about this before doing anything else. The others knew it was the right thing to do and they all ran with the box to where their parents were. Look dad, what we found, said Chinu. Mom's eyes almost popped out when she saw the glistening coins. Let's take them to the local police station, said dad. We shouldn't be keeping these, to which everyone agreed. When they reached the police station, Dad and Chinu narrated the entire story about how they found the box while playing on the beach to the inspector, who was impressed by the children's honesty, especially Chinu, as she had asked everyone not to touch what wasn't theirs. You are a wonderful girl Chinu, a role model for everyone to follow, said the inspector. There couldn't be a better opportunity for us to honor you, than the carnival, which will start at 4 p.m. today. I request you to come with your family to the carnival, he asked Chinu's father, where we will honor Chinu with a medal, and a certificate of appreciation to the other children. They all looked expectantly at Chinu's dad who gave a thumbs up. Chinu and his friends were honored in a colorful parade at the carnival and enjoyed every bit of it. Honesty does have its rewards.